Whenever it's my first time working on a cat, I always make sure that my affairs are in order. This is Tolstoy, and he's a one-year-old exotic shorthair. His owners brought him in today because he has quite a few mats. They told me that I could shave him if necessary, but I'm going to do everything in my power to save his coat. But of course, as always, I try to deactivate the ferocious floof by clipping off the murder mittens. The exotic short hair is known as a lazy man's Persian. They share the same pushed-in face that makes him look like he ran face first into a concrete wall. However, his coat is not nearly as long, and although it requires maintenance, it does not require as much maintenance as the long hair Persian. Don't bite me though, okay? They are similar to the Persian in many ways, except they tend to have a more lively and fun personality. After a little bit of brushing, I place him into our cat bath. The tub is filled with soapy water. This is an excellent way to introduce a cat to a bath if you're unsure how they may react to running water. For the most part, Tolstoy is handling this quite well, although later on he does try his great escape. I am bathing him using tearless shampoo made by Seuss. One thing I love about this cat is that he has a permanent look on his face as though somebody just told him, you are the father. <laughs> or maybe he just caught the dog eating his poop out of the litter box again. After I've rinsed him down, I lather him in conditioner to help loosen up his matting, and he makes his first and only attempt at freedom. If you're going to work with cats, you better have some fast reflexes. Poor Tolstoy, he looks utterly defeated. You're okay. You took that like a champ. But ladies and gentlemen, the bath was worth it to be able to see his face in the happy hoodie. I took a couple breaks during the dry so I could shave out some of his bigger mats. There is a common misconception that bathing mats makes them tighter. This is only true if you allow your pet to air dry. But if you're using a high velocity dryer, you can actually pull the mats away from the skin and make brushing possible. However, not in all cases. Depending on the circumstance, there are definitely times where matting is too severe and the only option is shaving. In this case, the bathing worked, and now I'm able to get through his mats using my comb, and I won't have to shave him. He also seems to be enjoying this, as I'm sure the mats were making his skin very itchy. After I've brushed him out, I shave out his litter collectors. I kept the happy hoodie on during the majority of his groom, because it helps to calm stressed animals during many situations. If you're interested in purchasing one of these babushkas, they are available on my website, the link is in the description. After I shaved out his stage 5 clingers, I wipe his eyes using a hypoallergenic wipe. I gave him a spritz in our sweet pea and vanilla cologne, and Tolstoy is all finished. Today, for our pet of the day, we have a 14-year-old Labrador Retriever named Scooby. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed The Tender Tolstoy.